listen to us, okay? Sit down, lay down, and listen. We got an arterial to the neck. There's nothing to be scared about, all right? We went through the whole time until your mama gets there and she'll bring you home, okay? You ready? Spicy, hot, and wild, the Big Easy draws hordes from around the world. Despite its reputation, old-fashioned Southern values are the foundation of New Orleans, and kids and family are its backbone. But when the foundation starts to crumble, who's there to hold it together? The New Orleans Emergency Medical Service is one family that stays cool and calm when things go awry. For better or worse, from sickness to health, these paramedics keep the South sweet. Is it a mean day or a nice day? It's a mean day. Ter Terry switches back and forth. Mean days and nice days. Terry. Shows me he loves me. Every day I come to work, I help at least one person. At least one. Oh, my box of cleaning supplies. Patty always has to have her box of cleaning supplies. I got this thing about it being nice, clean, and neat looking for my patients so they have a sense that I'm organized and together. Holding their hand, you know, saving them from death, whatever it is, gives me a sense of purpose. All righty, now we have all the ambulance stuff. Now I have to get my stuff. For the good little kids, you know, the ones that are really scared and stuff like that, I give them a teddy bear. I usually take two with me at night. So for either the really, really sick ones or the ones that are really scared and think we're going to hurt them. Sometimes if you get a teddy bear to a kid, it makes them feel a little bit safer. I don't like to see the tragedy I see sometimes, but the part that makes me like it is to leave someone with a smile on the face. It gives me a sense of fulfillment. Besides my family making me feel that way, my job does. motor vehicle accidents that we go on have the potential to be serious. Hope for the best, expect the worst. A lot of people. So we got one, two vehicles. 62, 15, 10, 94, 024. Hi. Do you have any injuries, ma'am? Just this little girl here. Hey, sweetie. Oh, don't cry, honey. Don't cry, okay? Tell me where you hurt. Six-year-old Aisha Ennis has head and belly pain. Do you have your seatbelt on, sweetie? Okay, oh. Right there. Anytime a child is hurt, and take it very seriously. Ma'am, you're her mother? Her aunt? Okay, she needs to go to the hospital. She's got some belly pain. She's got to uh, hit her head. What's her name? Aisha. Aisha. My name's Patty. All right, I'm going to take care of you. And we're going to take it to the hospital so the doctors can look at your bubos. It's not going to hurt, honey, okay? And I'm going to tell you everything I do. But you have to be a big girl and not cry for me, okay? Can you do that? Put this around your neck, sweetie, okay? It's not gonna hurt. It's just like a big, huge necklace to so make sure you don't have a bubble in your neck. Okay, Aisha. Keep your head nice and still, okay? Very, very good. Don't be scared. I'm gonna tell you everything I do. Put your arms across your chest, and then I'm gonna take your head like this and like this, okay? Don't move your head. Ma'am, Aisha was not knocked out or anything like that. Did she get out and walk around at all? Yes, she will. She did? Yeah. One, two, three. What concerns me most is the belly pain and the seatbelt, and she's got that little abrasion right there in her belly. I don't want to take any chances with kids at all, okay? Tomorrow, from Toronto, witness the dramatic efforts of expert medical teams fighting to save lives against all odds. Every second counts on an all-new episode of The Critical Hour, tomorrow on Discovery Health Channel.
very scared, a little intimidated, so I wanted to make her feel secure with me. I got something for you. You're going to hold on to it and keep it safe? Because it doesn't have a home. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see. There we go. Got you a bear. You got to give him a name because he doesn't have a name. What you want to name him? Snow Bear. Huh? Snow Bear. Snow Bear? That's a good name. Outstanding. Little bumpy on the way to the hospital. Be there in about two minutes. Almost there. Now, when we get to the hospital, Aisha's sleepiness could be a sign of a brain injury. She says she's a little tired, and it could be because she got a little slight concussion. We just, you know, I want to keep her talking, keep her alert, keep her awake. Um, let the doctors check her out really good. You stay awake and you talk to me, all right? Okay. You're a good patient. I wish all my patients were this good. Your thumbs up. Thumbs up. Good. Get a little bump, honey, okay? Can you keep my snow bear? Yeah. restrained front seat passenger at 35 miles per hour. She's got some belly pain, a little bit of abrasion right there, mm -hmm. some head pain. She's got that right there. Hey, sweetie, what's your name? Aisha. Aisha? Bend your head up real slow for me. Does that hurt anywhere for you to do that? No. Okay. Kids always touch everybody's heart and they get like an extra little, I don't know, TLC. Okay, Aisha, how about a handshake? Right. Take care of Snow Bear for me, okay? Okay. All right? And I'll see you soon. You're going to be just fine. Baby. Next, on another episode of Paramedics, long hours, sleepless nights, and adrenaline-filled rescues. Experience the chaos of medicine in the streets. Next, on Discovery Health Channel. Real life, medicine, miracles.